evening all chief pepper here if we go into a grid down situation many 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 channels have talked about how bad it's going to be in about two weeks people will become ravenous uh starving desperate doing bad things at 30 days people will start dying because they won't get any more medications for sure at 90 days Type 1 diabetics will die out uh, a horrible death. Type 2 that are that have to have insulin will also have problems. Anybody who has requirements for high blood pressure medicine and other things. And then you got all the druggies and the drug addicts and the alcoholics and the drunks that need their stuff. Uh, all that's going to stop. So... The most dangerous period will be from two weeks to about 90 days because that's when most of the killing will happen. Uh, thereafter, anybody you find or come across is going to be extremely dangerous because that means that they will have survived the initial die-off. Statistics say after a year, 90% of the U.S. population will be dead. So, even preppers will have to probably eventually leave where they're at because uh, you're going to run out of food and your ability to grow your own food will be limited unless you have that kind of knowledge, <laughs> excuse me, and the skills, which, you know, crops take time to grow. You may plant them and then you may have to leave. Uh, you got livestock, you have them until they get sick or someone steals them, or you eat them. Uh, Billy from Billy and D from Frontier Preppers has talked about people eat their pets. And guess what? People will eat people when you get hungry enough. So let's talk about if you have to move. Um, most people will, will want to do the bug out bag thing. You know, there are some Hercules out there who can carry 100 pounds. I wouldn't recommend carrying that much. I would go with your basic load. Uh, which is you need to have your long gun, sidearm, binos, thermal and MVGs if you have those on you 24-7. Uh, you need to pack at least two pair of boots. They prefer the broken in boots. You don't want to be breaking them in when you're walking initially. You also want to have practice walking with all that stuff. You know, uh, you'll need your weapons cleaning kit, ammo for both guns, if you can, carry a bow and arrows, uh, wrist rocket. Uh, you can get rocks off the ground most of the time somewhere where you're at. Uh, any precious metals that you can carry that won't jingle when you're walking. On your cart, you're going to need extra ammo. The bow probably and arrows. Uh, your backpack with a uh, sleeping bag. You know, if you watch the uh, episode 6 of The Last of Us, um, having electricity is a luxury, so and I would recommend that you do not travel during the day. Travel at night. Noise doesn't carry as much. And do not turn your flashlights on because that would definitely tell people where you're at. Uh, probably one of the things you would want to do is walk 100, 150 yards and then stop and listen. And keep your ears peeled. Uh, if you have a cart, it would be best if it didn't squeak and make all kinds of noise, but... It's almost impossible though, to be pulling the cart behind you and do that. So, uh, having a bicycle that you can attach the cart to would be golden. But I, I, I mean, I want to do that, but I, there's a thousand things in front of that project. Uh, if you have a vehicle, realize that from the time the electricity goes out, then you have basically your tank of fuel to use if your car runs. So. Uh, debit cards credit cards will stop working so if you don't have cash you won't be able to buy anything and cash will only be working for a short while and then people will realize that it's not worth anything and then they'll go to precious metals uh, bullets will become a finite thing as in once you shoot them uh, your ability to get more <sighs> it's just taken away will be drastically reduced Food will become 
top priority for everything. I mean, people will find out what being hungry is like. Uh, you need to have a map that shows water sources. Uh, and, you know, you need to find one uh, if you don't have one. Most of the people in the cities that I've seen are all fucking fat. They can't walk. I mean, I was in the grocery store today, and I don't think I saw but maybe two skinny people, grown-ups. There's some kids that are skinny, but even some of the kids are fat. So I'm not digging on you fat people. It's just that, you know, your ability to get the kind of food and the amount of food you're eating right now is going to go away. Uh, you need to understand that personal hygiene is going to be a fucking problem. You will need to keep your groin, your pits, uh, and your feet clean, and you do uh, your face first, your feet next, your pits, and your groin last. And the best you're going to get is a whore bath. If you don't know what that is, look it up. Basically, you wash those four areas, and that's it. Maybe run some water through your hair. Getting a haircut after is going to be a problem uh, for everyone, women and men talking about some unhappy fucking females boy in Iraq when they didn't get their hair done they couldn't take a bath for a year man they were mm. so luxuries like that will go away uh, so food water filtration you'll need that on your in your pack and on your cart or whatever you're traveling in ammo uh security you know somebody will have to be awake 24 hours a day watching light discipline you have to make sure even if you have the ability to have lights that you don't turn them on at night when someone can see the light coming out of the building at all if you have security lights I had like I do and I'm running one of my quiet generators that's probably going to be in some kind of box to help keep the noise down so because you realize when electricity stops and there's nothing running and there's no cars running, the amount of noise wherever you're at is, is going to be almost none. So any kind of noise is going to draw attention. So highly encourage you to run generators during the day, quiet ones. Uh, basically any generator with an eye next to it is considered an inverter. So it does two things. It runs more quiet and it produces what's called clean power. Keep that in mind. Do your research and your homework. Um... And then run your solar generators at night to keep any large appliances working and uh, so that the food that's in them doesn't go bad. And realize, you know, you're going to have canned goods and stuff, but I would uh, recommend that you eat your food out of your cold appliances first, uh, only because as you empty one, you can free up resources. Uh, or maybe you have a light in the bedroom. Uh, if you got candles, you'll have light, but you'll have to have matches or some kind of lighter. So stock up on matches, stock up on waterproof matches, stock up on big lighters, stock up, up on butane lighters that can be refilled. You get a couple of those cans of butane. I've done a video before where one can lasted me like 10 years, and I was using the one lighter that I still have quite a lot. Uh, so magnesium fire sticks, ferrocium rods. It's very important to be able to boil water. So you're gonna need a canteen. Uh, get the, go buy army surplus or military surplus. Get the old style canteens with a metal cup in them, the cover and the attachment stuff for a pistol belt. Grab a pistol belt. Uh, find a drop like holster, mag holders for your handgun, and probably your M4. Uh, a basic load is seven mags with 30 rounds each so in the army when i was in combat we carried minimum of nine or ten when we went out the gate because seven wasn't enough if you got in a firefight you'll go through that very quickly uh your weapons need lasers lights red and white preferably red mostly you'll need headlamps uh mvgs and thermals if you can afford them they're very expensive to get the good ones we're talking 10 grand easily for one MEG binocular PBS 14 and one good thermal uh, scope on a rifle or just a thermal system so you can look through it and see heat signatures. Uh, wouldn't be a bad thing to have a drone with a day night camera 
flat up over stuff. They're typically pretty quiet, especially if you have a way to recharge the batteries and use it to scout areas. Uh, fishing gear, hunting gear, knives to skin stuff, fish and uh, wild game. You know, if you got pets, you're gonna need to be able to feed them. So, it's, I don't know, I just, the list is long and deep, so just something wicked this way comes. Keep that in mind. You have all the way up until the point that it happens before you're under the gun to actually use everything you've worked towards buying. Anyway, uh, information is knowledge and power. Chief Prepper, out.